In November 2016, at the age of 53, Don was diagnosed with stage 5 chronic kidney disease. He was ineligible for a transplant and his kidney function was only 3%. After his wife discovered the benefits of a plant-based diet, they decided to give it a go. He said, the improvements were small at first, however after a few months, the improvements were enough to start getting his nephrologist's attention. Eventually, they were able to reduce his dialysis time and reduce his days in dialysis. All the while, his labs kept improving. Then, in February 2017, he was able to be removed from dialysis. To this day, he is still dialysis-free and his labs continue to improve. There are countless recovery stories like this one. But these are just anecdotal. However, in a recent interview, Dr. Michael Greger was asked of all the research he has seen, what was the most exciting thing a plant-based diet could do? And this was his response. The link to the original interview is in the description below. I highly recommend watching it in full. Well, so it's diseases for which we didn't think that they were reversible. So, for example, we didn't think heart disease was reversible until Pritikin came along and showed... That was indeed the case. Uh, diabetic retinopathy, diabetic blindness. We thought that was irreversible. You get worse, 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 and you go blind. No, nope, that can be reversed to a healthy diet. Even there's uh, two case reports that just came out suggesting that caught early enough, even type 1 diabetes may be able to help with um, a healthy diet. There was the first case report on enclosing spondylitis, this horrible autoimmune condition attacking the spine. Never had any data on that, but nope. Plant-based diet helps with that too. No surprise, an anti-inflammatory diet helps with inflammatory condition. But those are the most exciting things, these kind of reversal. We have a new data on lupus, which is another autoimmune condition with beneficial effects, not just for kidney function, which we had already known, but um, for other symptoms as well. Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis. These are, I mean, it's just really exciting to see um, diseases for which there were no good options, you know, where, where the, the kind of traditional approaches don't have such downsides in terms of adverse effects. So that's the most, really, the most exciting work out there. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.